today's gameplay is all about the bullfrog and the max movement build for the bullfrog i think this is one of the best builds that i've used for this gun inside warzone so i'm going to talk you through the gameplay and my thought process as i was playing through this clip we did manage to get some really good squad wipes with this gun so if you enjoy videos like this don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we're trying to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers and we do want to be making more gameplay content like this on the channel so if you enjoy it don't forget to leave us a like as well so right now as you can see we've just got loadout mainly we're just looting up and we've cut that out at the start now we've spotted this team by loadout as well if you've ever watched my streams you know as soon as i see a loadout i like to push it straight away that way you can catch a team off guard because sometimes they think they're going to scare enemy teams away because they've got the loadout guns but we managed to get ours a bit quicker than they got theirs but then you see that I actually get a bounty on me and it turns out that is this team but I didn't realize it was this team just yet so that's why I was retreating back just to make sure it wasn't that team or another team third partying me so like I said I realized it was this team right about now uh, once this uh, bounty threat went down to orange and I managed to escape their shots so the main focus for me right now is to get some high ground on this enemy team they're going to need to push over to us because i am the bounty and i'm going to get some easy picks with my amax well so i thought anyway the team actually made it across earlier than i thought so it turns out they were literally right below us so what i decided to do was throw a grenade down to see if i can get some damage done on someone and see roughly where they are and i didn't get any hits whatsoever and this guy actually swung really wide which i never expected so i managed to beam him because i had the high ground and he missed like some of his shots immediately i started plating up and then started looking for the next guy i want to make sure i can help my brother out as well but it turns out he kills the guy and we get quite an easy team wipe here and the whole start of this game is pretty hectic so like i said my brother clears this guy up pretty easily and then we try and move on to fight the next team now we try and move on to fight the next team and once i open this door i look to the left and i actually see that someone's being bought back from the buy that the enemy team actually came from so we start pushing towards that way to see if we could find more people so. and catch them off guard i take some shots from my amax on this guy i crack him but i don't actually get the finish and we just carry on pushing because that guy's weak and his teammate must be nearby somewhere so that's what we're looking for his teammate uh, i unluckily had my bullfrog out at this point and i couldn't really help my brother kill this guy but he finishes it off anyway and then lastly we're just going to try and push this guy and see where he's at and hopefully get a really easy kill because i know i've taken his armor off he's probably looking for some armor plates somewhere so i know he's probably going to be camping in this building looking for some armor plates and um, my main focus is to rush in kill him really quickly and get out and move on to the next team but as you can see i'm making sure i check everything because people love to camp in this building and i see him mounted up i have no idea what he was doing there he didn't even have armor plates on so he didn't manage to find any after i cracked him from the amax shots but now we've got a bit of money so we do want to buy a uav and figure out where more enemy players are this is the start of the game you do want to try and get most of your kills now and then most of your kills at the end of the game the game does slow down during the middle most of the time because people are rotating and moving to different areas and most people will be ghosted it's kind of a weird fight during the middle of the game uh, the start of the game and the end of the game is the easiest kills you'll get then we spotted these two teams kind of fighting they were kind of camping in the buildings not really engaging each other that much but we could see that they were shooting at each other this team on the right we didn't want to fight first because we knew that they were camping happily on top of the roof whereas the team that we spotted in that kind of left side building uh, and the reason why we're wrapping this way around is just to make sure we have cover uh, so there's not a third team here maybe ghosted or something um, but we wanted to fight the team on the left because i seen that they were slightly separated and maybe they weren't such a good team compared to the team that were on top of the roof uh, and luckily we had another uav as well so we could pop that just to make sure no one's changed building or positioning but i still wanted to see this team on the roof and just to see what they're doing if they're engaging in the other team what what is even going on is it going to be feasible to actually push this team but like i said we kind of looked at them and they were quite happily camping up there so we decided to push this team first instead because they were a bit more spread out like i mentioned earlier on so this team will be an easier fight than the team that's just sitting on the roof plus that other building there's only one way up whereas this building here has a couple of jump spots and multiple ways up into the rooftops so i'm just trying to figure out where these guys are hear some footsteps work out where they are um and i'm just trying to peek every angle just to make sure they're not camping then i spotted this guy took a couple of shots but i then also heard this guy and i got an easy kill on him by jumping out the window but i didn't want to thirst him straight away because i knew his teammate was not too far away because i seen him running towards me i missed the stun because i'm really bad at throwing stuns 
Now, I'm not too sure if I hit the guy or I hit the guy outside, so I just wanted to throw my Semtex, and that would stop two things. The guy pushing out the building as well as it could stop him doing that jump spot through the window. Uh, then I just slid in the doorway and shot him to death. That was an easy kill. Now, this guy was tough because he had a sniper rifle and I have an Amex. So every time he's going to be taking full armor plates off of me, whereas it's going to be hard for me to get shots off on this guy. So I do make a big brain play just here uh, to get this guy knocked and you'll see it in just a second. And I pick up this car 98 to snipe this guy just so we're on an even playing field. I managed to actually down him as well. And that's something I highly recommend doing. Uh, if you see weapons and just stuff lying around near you, make sure you pick that up and use it to your advantage. If you run out of tactical equipment or anything like that, pick up a gas grenade, pick up even a decoy. It can be useful, um, better than having nothing for sure. So make sure you use it. So my teammate pushes this fight, even though we down the team. And as you heard, one of them got rezzed. And unfortunately, my teammate goes down here pushing the fight. I managed to get this guy, but I didn't realize this other guy was self raising I thought this was a team might. I didn't even realize. Uh, but this guy was an absolute idiot, and he pushed me with zero plays and nothing to his name whatsoever. Quickly going back to the start of that fight though, I was making sure I was throwing stuns and grenades in to help my teammate as much as possible even though I couldn't put shots in because I couldn't see the enemy players. It's really good to do that if you do have tactical equipment. So I spot this guy after looking off the edge of the roof and get some shots on him. I was kind of hoping to get an easy down on this guy but it didn't really work out. And it actually turns out he had a teammate. But as you can see here, I'm making use of what's around me once again, picking up the munitions box to get my Semtexes, get my stuns back. Uh, and that way I can push this building if I really need to. I've got my equipment with me uh, and I'm just keeping picking up stuff. I do pick up this heartbeat sensor just to double check to see where he is. And like I said, I found out there's actually two of these guys in this building now. So now I need to be extra careful because I don't have my teammate with me. So now I'm just kind of camping this rooftop just to make sure my brother can get his guns back. That way he can help me out the best as he possibly can because he will have his guns and he will have armor plates and everything he needs. And at this point, I'm just taking shots randomly at these guys. If I see them, I'm going to shoot them. And that's just to distract them from the fact that my teammate's coming in, trying to get some loot. And it just makes them focus on me for a little while so he can get his guns and get some plates and get ready to fight this team. Uh, once he's ready to fight, then we start pushing this team. Here, I just kind of mess around picking up random things. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get the sniper, but it just didn't really work out. Don't worry, eventually I do give up. I'm trying to pick up this sniper. And again, I see this guy, so I want to take some shots. I want to do as much damage to these guys as much as possible. And now we're ready to push this team. Uh, my brother does go down low, which I don't think was the best thing for him to do, as you will see in just a second. I'm just trying to stay on top of them because if the zone pushes, they'll need to push from under us. We'll have some high ground. We can shoot them if we need to. Uh, and I was trying to figure out some kind of flank spot to get in behind these guys. Uh, and I see this guy's footsteps right here. And I was just taking some shots again, just trying to do damage. And I threw a thermite in the door. And my brother goes down here, trying to fight these guys, and I end up getting the finish on both of the guys once again by doing that jump spot. It's very important to do jump spots in this game because people don't really expect it. They would have probably expected me to come up on the same stairway as my brother. The next part is me being a good teammate and buying my brother back. It's very important you do that. If you're playing uh, randoms, make sure you buy your teammates back. So now we're skipping a bit ahead of the game because we didn't really manage to get any other kills. I did die and go to the gulag and come back. I heard footsteps in this kind of cabin uh, area and I put a stun in and I killed this guy. So this is the guy that I actually spotted, but I never realized there was two guys in there. So I'm sure glad that I bought my brother back to help me fight that. Otherwise, I probably would have died there. And now we're just kind of looting up again, making sure we got our armor plates back on and then kind of looking at the edge of the circle to see where enemies players can be coming from. I think we're focusing a bit too much on loot here in my opinion, but anyway, we're just getting restocked and ready for a new fight. And like I said, we're keeping an eye on the left hand side. I do spot this guy and I do jump out to try and kill this guy. And it was a stupid play to be completely honest. And I've no idea what gun he had to beam me with, but he did fry me. Luckily though, it was a 2v1 and my brother could easily clean up that kill because he already had his armor cracked. And then I run straight back into the cabin where I know it's safe to get my armor plates back on and get some more armor plates because there's tons of loot inside this building. Now, if you are camping inside Warzone, one thing I highly recommend is make sure you're looking out the windows at least to see if anyone is going to push you. It, I don't want it to be a surprise when an enemy team pushes you and you're camping a building. That's just a very silly way to play. So now we're just kind of looking at the edge of the map to see where enemy players could be coming from. Uh, I actually managed to pick up this random grow because I wanted to get ghost on my loadout. So this is a random grow I found. 
Stoned and Bruno shooting this guy. And I've no idea what he was planning on doing, but he gets fried with this crow. So I'm not too sure if the guy I just killed had a teammate because my brother does go down here. And unfortunately, I couldn't save him because there was a lot of cover between me and this enemy player. I managed to kill him from the gas, which was pretty straightforward because I shot him in the back. And this bit is just pure skill. This is just something you can't teach. And here we're in the kind of end game circle now. And I can hear a guy on the other side of this wall to my left. And I'm trying to figure out whether he's literally on the other side of this wall or if he's near those kind of two cabin things on the very left that you can see on the map. So I'm just throwing stuns. I'm throwing random stuff uh, just to see if I can get some hits and figure out where this guy is. Uh, but unfortunately, I still can't find out where he is. So I'll try and go on top of this as well to figure out where players are. And I'm really struggling to do that as well, as you can see. Um, so I can hear the shots now, as you can probably hear too. And it turns out he's literally on the other side of this wall now. And I'm just trying to work out where he is. And I can see the gunfire uh, happening right now. So I'd want to push that as quick as possible. The only problem is this guy is playing really weird and really slow. And I don't have the patience for people playing really slow. Even in in-game circles, I find it a struggle. So I just try to push this guy. And he has an Amax and beams the crap out of me, man. So here is the class setup for the gameplay you just watched. So here is the AMAX class setup. We use the Monolithic Suppressor, the Zodiac Barrel, the Commando Foregrip, the 45 round mags, and the VLK Optic. This is pretty much the meta build for the AMAX at the moment. Then moving on into the Bullfrog, we have the class setup I was using. And here I'm going to explain a few things. So first of all, we use the Sound Suppressor, not the GRU Suppressor. The reason why is because I wanted to say suppressed during this game but not have a con to my aim down sight time. Then I did use the Tiger Team Spotlight for faster movement and faster aim walking movement speed. I do like to ADS and walk sometimes when I'm entering a building to stay silent. Then I was using the 85 round mags and this is why I didn't use the GRU suppressor because if I stacked on the 85 round mags with the GRU suppressor, I'd get such a slow aim down sight time. And I do want to have this large magazine available even though I was only playing duos I still like to reload as least as possible. Then I was using the Serpent Wrap to help with the aim down sight time even more. And then lastly, I was using the Skeletal Stock for the faster strafing speeds. Then for the perks, I was using EOD, Overkilled and Amped. And then I would switch to Ghost later on in the game. And Semtex and a Stun Grenade. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we're trying to reach a goal of 10,000 subscribers. And also click that link in the description and subscribe to our second channel. Thank you very much for watching.